what do you think about what your responsibilities are going to be and how this offense fits what you do? Um, I mean, it's, I think to me it's the same responsibility as last year. You know, um, being that overall back, you know, that whole complete back, um, running, blocking, catching, you know, just doing the right things, you know. You look uh, a little slimmer. I'm not saying you were heavy, but I mean, you look like you lost a little weight. Is that accurate? What were you weigh? Uh, I weigh about 229 right now. Okay. Um, this off season, I'm really, you know, you know, really training really hard this off season, so I can get down. I want to come back here. And want to be between 220 and 225 when I come back. Um, just want to be light. You know, when I came in, I was light. I was very lean when I came in from the past off season, and it just felt good. You know, um, going out, working out, and everything, just waking up, just felt good overall. What were you playing last year? I was about 231. I probably was about game day. I probably was about two thirty three. Yeah, with all them pads on, probably like two thirty five. What do you think you need to do to stay healthy? Healthy, or is there anything you can do? Um, I mean, the biggest thing to me is just uh, staying healthy, is being in the best shape possible, and just taking care of your body. That's getting in the cold tub, getting massages every day. You know, whatever it is to take care of your body, just just do it. Do you feel you need to change your running style at all, or is your running style who you are? No, nah, I don't need to change my running style at all. You know, play the way I play. Um, I don't need to change my run. I don't think I need to change it at all. How frustrating was it for you last year? Just you know, the first game, that was the only game you were healthy, right? That first game? First game? Yeah. Um, nah, nah. Oh, I was I was all right. I was all right. No, no. Well, I'm saying that first game, you were healthy. You, you, you know, had a great game. Yeah, um, and that was kind of the, the highlight for the offense of the whole season. All right. Um, yeah, that's in the past. I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about that no more. <laughs> it, it, you came back and you really didn't. It didn't look like they put any restrictions on you in the off-season program, even though you're six months removed from foot surgery. So no, I was, I was. I got the two thumbs up to, uh, to participate in everything in this all season. I felt good. I haven't had any setbacks, and I just been attacking this all season. Did you think you needed to do that so that you'd be conditioned for the way this tempo is with this offense? Uh, me personally, I definitely wanted to, you know, participate in these OTAs and you know all these practices that we've been doing. I definitely want to be a part just to see you know how my foot is going to hold up with all this running and cutting. You know, at the beginning I was sore, you know, but once I got like the rust knocked off, I was I felt great ever since. You made some difficult catches uh, during practice this week and before. Do you anticipate being used as a receiver more, this year more than you have in the past? Yeah, yeah, I definitely think I'll be uh, involved in the passing game a lot more this year. Uh, which I'm excited about. I like playing receiver. You know, another opportunity to get out in space and get the ball in your hands. What, what was your reaction when you saw the team trade up to invest a first-round pick in, in Josh Garnett? Um, I was happy. Um, you know, I'm always, you know, happy when we drive an offense to guy. Um, I'm always a player. So, um, you know, it definitely has out to, you know, um, Buckner too, though. Um, but I definitely was happy about that. Um, he's a guy who's going to come in and help us out a lot, definitely on the offensive line, and um, respecting big things out of him. Are you going to train any differently during this uh, period between mini camp and training camp than, than you had in the past, just given the demands that the, the offense is going to put on you in training camp? Um, I don't really have workouts made up in my mind, so... <laughs> Um, I just go to the place where I train at back home in Miami. Um, you know, wherever that workout plan is, you know, that they have put in. So I just go with that. Um, but, you know, me, I like to do a lot of field stuff. I like to be on the field a lot, doing a lot of running back skills, you know, just moving around on the field. Cause, you know, that's where I spend most of my time at, not lifting weights. So I like to be out on the field, me, you know, catching, just running, you know, trying to – get a game feel, you know, on the field, you know, I don't have that many people, but still can get that feel. You're not going to return punts? 
No. <laughs> I can do key off return. I can't do pump return. <laughs> were you there uh, prior to the the start of uh, you know this this spring session? Or are they the ones that got you ready for? Yeah. So uh, DBC uh, David Alexander. Yeah, I was down there working with him. You know, I came in and told him, you know, this. I really want to get my body right, and my foot right. You know, I want to get as lean as possible, and it was it was great. You know, I came back here really lean and in shape, and I was ready to go. Did you talk to anybody else that went through the similar recovery, Jimmy or Crabtree? Or I talked yeah. to Crab yeah, just yeah. recently. Yeah, so we had a um, softball game at yeah. AT&T Park, mm-hmm. um, and I saw Crab. That was the first time i seen him since he's been with the Raiders. Mm-hmm. But um, he asked me about it, and he was like, yeah, I did the same thing. You got to uh, always wear your orthotics now, no matter what. Mm-hmm. doesn't matter what cleat you wear. You just got to have those orthotics, and you'll be all right. Carlos, so that was good. Yeah. That was good to hear from somebody who's been through right. it, though. A couple of times, yeah. yeah. Of Getting back to the catch and passes out of the backfield. I mean, running backs have been asked to do that a lot in Chip's offense, and he today talked about how surprised he was maybe by how good your hands are. Is that a part of your game you think that gets overlooked? Yeah, I would say so. Um, you know, in college, I didn't, you know, get that many opportunities to catch the ball, but when the ball did come my way, I made, I try to make the most out of it. Uh, I always try to catch the ball no matter what, even if it's, you know, nowhere near catchable. But to me, every ball should be catchable. But um, yeah, I definitely think that's something that's overlooked. But um, this year, we get to see it. So is is to get the ball in space like that in, in the open space like that as a running back I mean, your eyes just light up in situations when you can when you can have that part of your game and really take advantage of it well, yeah to me it just feel like you just taking over the game you know the whole game not just running the ball you know not the defense not just worrying about you running the ball they got to worry about you coming out the backfield or lining up at the receiver position catching the ball and making plays after you catch the ball so I think to me it just put stress on the defense and then it opened up things for other people on the team. With that, do you expect yourself to be that, that traditional three down running back? Yeah, I definitely expect myself. You know, I hold myself to that standard to be that three down running back, to never come off the field, um, to always just be in the game. Um, but, you know, there's going to be times where I got to come out, but I definitely, you know, hold myself to being that three down back, you know. A couple more. Er, early in. Early in the offseason when we talked to you, you said this offense was similar to the one you ran at Ohio State. Now that you're uh, further into the installation and, and the intric- intricacies of the offense, you still feel that way, and and, uh, and, and how comfortable are you running it? Um, yeah, I still feel that I still feel the way. Um, I think I'm, from that time when I was talking to y'all in the beginning, I was – trying to get comfortable with it, but now I'm like all the way comfortable with it. It's like day and night with the offense. Now I can just go out there and just play freely. I know all the plays and I know exactly what I have to do. So it's easy to go out there and just run the plays, look at the signal and get going. Is is the tempo stuff you're doing now similar to to what you did at Ohio State? I know there well, are Well we bit actually more. we actually practice way faster than what we did at Ohio State. Okay. At Ohio State our practices are like kind of tempo you know we wasn't like in our practice we going like now we're we get out the field get on the field we going no no wasting time how, how did that help you um practicing fast how does that help me yeah i think it helps everybody not just me the whole team um just to me now i don't even feel that fast um but I think if somebody came in and watched it, they'd be like, man, you guy's moving fast. Uh, to me, it's not that fast anymore. But um, it just to me, it's just an opportunity to score with a lot of points. You're going fast. You're going down to the red zone, you're scoring points. The defense get out there. They get a stop. We're going. So everybody just moving fast. And we look up on the scoreboard. we killing the team. Hoorah. Everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. You said that. Uh, Last year, uh, you like to deliver the punishment. You don't want to be absorbing the punishment. All right. Um, and, you know, I, I get that. That's part of your shot. You're a physical back. Um, but, I mean, do you have to, I mean, in the NFL, do you think you have to pick your spots as far as that? I mean, as far as, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deliver punishment. I mean, do you have to? I mean, there's definitely some, sometimes in a game where, all right, maybe you don't need to truck this guy. Sorry, right if you just go out of bounds right here. But, 
to me, that's not really dictating the game to that person, though. If you're just running out of bounds, and I t- to me, I just think that person might be like, oh, he might be scared or he don't, he don't want to play. Uh, I'd rather just try to run through you, let you know that I'm not running out of bounds. I'm here to play, and this is going to be all game just like this. I ain't shying away. Yeah. What's your so. first impression of Kelvin Taylor? Oh, that's my guy right there. Um, he's still learning, but he's definitely getting it, though. And um, he's definitely going to be able to help us out a lot. Um, he's good, though. That's my guy right there. What does he, what does he do well? What, what's, uh, what's his best quality right now? I mean, he's very decisive. You know, he gets the ball. He's not, you know, stopping behind the line. You know, he gets the ball, make a move right now. He's not, you know, stuttering his feet, very decisive, which is good. You know, make your mind up and go, even if it's wrong. You know, just go with it at least and play fast. You know, that's what he do. And um, he's very decisive, like I said. And um, he's a, he's another guy who catches the ball at the backfield also. Um, all of us, all the running backs, um, all able to go out and play receiver, play running back. So we got a great group, though. Cool. Thanks, Appreciate guys. it.